Aloha. Aloha, everyone. Welcome to our first session of the self-care and uh, meditations with the love, peace, and harmony field. For those of you who are not familiar with me, my name is Lori. I am a licensed psychologist here in the state of Hawaii. And I'm also a certified master teacher with Master Shah's Tao Academy. And I'm honored today to share with you just some basic information about self-care and service practices. Now, many of you may be service providers in the healthcare field, or maybe caregivers or teachers, or just parents um, or those who you know serve and can receive um, at times you know challenging days. So hopefully this series will help you develop short, some easy practices and um, we'll have some meditations that can kind of help you along with this. So as I start, I wanted to first of all kind of talk about what is stress and it's very important for us to understand um, when we are stressed. And so I do have our agenda here. So we'll talk about the signs and then also about the love peace harmony field for this is a technique that we will be using to help us with our self care to prevent stress or manage our stress and hopefully prevent any kind of burnout. Okay, and then I will share a little bit about the love, peace, and harmony Tao calligraphy field, and we'll do a short meditation practice there. So what is stress? So actually, stress is like a normal reaction to everyday pressures, as we mentioned here, but it can be uncomfortable, unhealthy, and not functional when you it shifts the way you do your day-to-day -day function. So anytime it interferes with that, you know that something is up. And you might be able to do your task, but you don't feel great about it. You know, your attitude is kind of down, you're irritable, so forth, right? So stress involves, uh, it changes or it affects almost every system in our body, okay? And, as well as some psychological and physiological concerns, okay? So it will affect how we feel and behave, and it can contribute directly to some possible conditions, okay? So this is from the APA, um, and reducing our quality of life. So to serve to the best of our abilities, we really want to manage our stress response. And so how do we recognize? First of all, you have to recognize if you're under stress, right? Otherwise, you might not do something about it. You might just keep going and going and going until you finally kind of burn out or you, uh, you know, physically, you know, kind of break down. So some of the signs of stress, it could be some people get some emotional and um, reactions such as anxiety, panic attacks. They might have a feeling of constantly being pressured or hassled or hurried. And I remember when I first started working at my job, I would always feel like on the go, like, you know, like I can't have a break. Many times this is um, common, irritability and moodiness. So things you just get kind of oversensitive about things. You feel irritable, people just irritate you, you know, you don't um, enjoy what you do anymore. There might be some physical symptoms such as stomach problems, headaches, or even chest pains that you might have. You might have some um, allergic reactions. So for me, I got some rash. It was, I think, in college, I rarely got sleep. And I went in and they told me, oh, it's stress related, you know, do your self care and at the time, I wasn't really familiar with what I could do. Um, some of you may have problems sleeping, whether it's too much sleep or not, it's hard to fall asleep. You know, your mind is maybe ruminating about things of the day. So, and then also sadness or depression. 
And so some of the things that we might go to are some uh, overindulging types of behaviors, smoking or overeating. Uh, like I notice like maybe I'm snacking when I'm kind of mulling over something. Some people do self-medicating behaviors like drugs, drinking, you know, alcohol and things. But it might be also like you kind of numb yourself so you find yourself just kind of vegging out on your phone, you know, like addicted to some uh, shows or TV, um, any other kind of addictive type of things that we might do to help us relieve our stress. So we all might do some stress relieving things, but some might be more helpful than others, right? Um, because we don't want it to get to the point where it just builds up and then we just are just so exhausted. Um, and this is a sign that you might be on that way of kind of burning out. Um, there might be a sense of cynicism and detachment while you're very like critical and everything is negative, very pessimistic. You might also feel like a sense of ineffectiveness or lack of accomplishment. And you might not feel like what you're doing has a purpose and it's like, no one cares anyway. Like, why do I do this? You know, like no one cares. Um, they're not grateful. So some of those type of thoughts sometimes can come up. So these are things that you can be aware of. So today's self-care and practice and service practice is we are going to do it with this love, peace, harmony field, Tao calligraphy field. And why, you know, many times uh, for self-care practices and for stress, they found that meditation can be a very helpful uh, activity. And so today we'll do more of a meditation. We do have some other practices that can be helpful, but we'll focus on the meditation today. And we will be doing it with this special love, peace, harmony field. So let me just take this out. And this love, peace, harmony field is created with these sacred Tao calligraphy, healing art calligraphies. And it is in Chinese written, Shang Ai Ping An Kershe, meaning love, peace, and harmony. And these carries very positive messages, you know, it's love, peace, and harmony. And this calligraphy is not just regular, ordinary calligraphy. We believe that it is a sacred oneness style of calligraphy. And these are written by our teacher. He is a doctor, a doctor and master, Ji Gang Sha. And he is a doctor of Western medicine. He has an MD in China. He also is a doctor of traditional Chinese medicine. So he also has a degree there. And he is also a grandmaster in many ancient arts and traditions, such as Tai Chi, Qigong, Feng Shui, I Ching, and Shu Fa Jiao, which is Tao calligraphy. He is known to be the healer of healers. Um, and is a great philanthropist, a best-selling author, and has so much very impressive credentials. But he's creative with his ability, training, and skills, and um, service. He has this ability to connect with high frequency and positive messages that he brings in to his Tao calligraphy writing that can then, as we connect to this field of calligraphies that carries this high frequency of vibration, it can help to remove our negative information um, and frequencies, which stress we feel in the stress. A lot of times we're carrying very negative messages when we are feeling stressed. So let's. Um, have you connect to this love, peace, harmony field? And I will show it to you, but we will use these power techniques. So these techniques are one self-care me methods that you can use. A lot of times you can use it by yourself uh, on its own, but combined together can be very, very powerful. So 
let's use our body power. So you can sit up straight um, and just put your mind on your lower abdomen. I'll show you a bit later. We want you to, and body power is to use special body and hand positions to optimize healing transformation. So part of your self-care is to, you know, really use your body power. So even like checking in on your posture, just sitting up a little bit straighter can actually help align your back, your neck, and your posture and actually improve your circulation, just your you know, blood flow. We also believe for, for us, um, you know, that your energy flow, which then actually improves your blood flow. Okay. So for this one, you can put one hand on your lower abdomen. You can put one hand on the area that you are requesting. And I will um, lead you to a practice to check in with your body, like a body scan. So you can notice where it needs a bit more care. Our soul power is to say hello, and we will be, I'll lead you to that. You're going to connect with your own soul, heart, mind, and body. Um, and just connecting can help you to tune in and bring the uh, positive information inside rather than we're always dispersing our energy outside so we feel depleted. What we're going to be doing is gathering this positive message and um, frequencies and allow ourselves to kind of absorb and renew, nourish, and nurture ourselves. We're going to do mind power, which is creative visualization, and we're going to visualize light from the field into the area of your request. And then sound power, we will be listening to, you know, love, peace, harmony song, or I'll lead you through a practice that will, you can say to yourself, providing a positive information to help build that message inside you for positive self-care and service. And for your breath power, you can just inhale through your nose and expand your abdomen. We want lower abdominal breathing. Exhale, your abdomen contracts. And you just want to breathe smoothly, evenly, and naturally. So even this power, you just take care of your breath. That can be a very powerful, easy self-care strategy, especially if you tend to get anxiety. And a lot of times we will be do when we have anxiety, you might notice that your chest, you're doing a lot of breathing from your chest, and you might have this hyperventilation type of sense of, you know, kind of breathing, and your chest is moving. What we want to do is kind of help you practice to bypass, move through your chest down to your lower abdomen and build your lower abdominal breathing. And the last power that we can get to is our Tao calligraphy power. And we can trace the power with our five fingers. And for those of you um, kind of have more information about traditional Chinese medicine, the five fingers represents the five elements in, in TCM and it, or traditional Chinese medicine. And it is like your thumb would be the earth element. Your pointer finger would be your wood element, your middle finger, your fire element, your ring finger, your metal element, and the pinky or your little finger would be the water element. And so when you're connecting with your hands together or your fingers together, um, or I guess your lower dantian, as we'll call it, we may, we'll teach that in another session, um, you get a chance to be connected and balance all of your five elements. So let's get started on our practice for the day. So here is the love, peace, harmony field. We have two fields. We'll use this one for now. And this is where you can trace. So this is love. Okay. And for those of you who are familiar, this is a tracing pattern and I can maybe go through it later. Love, peace, harmony field. Okay, so we'll use this field today. And so I want you to just close your eyes. 
and take a nice natural breath in to your nose, to your lower abdomen. Exhale, let that light in your lower abdomen that you've imagined, exhale and expand throughout your body. And I want you to take a quick body scan from your head to your toe to notice what part of your body may be feeling um, a bit stressed or need a little more self-care. So some of you may have thoughts, you know, um, worrying thoughts or, in, um, or might feel emotion, sadness, or lack of motivation or, you know, irritation. Whatever it is, I don't want you to judge it. So there's no judgment in these practices. And if you just take that from these self-care series of working to not judge yourself, that is huge, okay? So I always repeat to myself, no judgment. Whatever you're feeling in your body, whether it's heaviness, pain, or discomfort, just notice where in your body you might be holding it. And again, no judgment, no attachment. You just want to notice where you might be holding some tension. And you might want to have a number from zero to 10 as to the level of your tension or your pain or discomfort or your emotional stress. And again, just notice it. I'm going to have you notice what is the color, the shape or size, imagine. What is the color, shape, or size of that pain, discomfort in your body? Or if you're having like an emotion, like, oh, I'm just feeling like so emotional, sad about it. Where are you holding that those emotions of sadness or irritation? Your body is holding that message somewhere. So you want to just clue yourself in to where you are holding that message. And again, no judgment no attachment, you're just noticing it. Again, notice the color, the shape, the size. And what we're gonna do now for our meditation is we are gonna connect with this love, peace, harmony field. It carries a message of love, peace, and harmony. And imagine that it's radiating into the area of your request, bringing in light, a message of love, peace and harmony into the area that needs it. Okay, you're gonna imagine that this beautiful light could be like in a rainbow light, a golden light coming in from the field. And even though the screen might be right in front of you, you're going to imagine that this, this field surrounds you 360 degrees. So you're going to use your creative visualization or your mind power to imagine that this field expands and it's all around you. And you're in this safe, sacred space where you're totally loved, protected, and supported. You're going to imagine that the top of your head is connected to the universe. And with this universal field above you, carrying this high, pure message of love, peace, harmony. And allow it to come in through your body. Through your head, relaxing all of your facial muscles. Relaxing your neck, relaxing your shoulders. Inhale the light from the field, bring it down to our chest, down through our torso, our back, relaxing, going deeper and deeper to the relaxation to our lower abdomen, feel 
And you can imagine one of these secrets is that you're imagining a golden ball of light or a rainbow ball of light, or it could be purple, crystal, depending on your, you know, whatever you feel connected with. Imagine this light ball rotating and expanding all the way down to your legs, to the bottom of your feet, and then grounding you to Mother Earth, allowing you to feel love, protected and supported. Loved, protected and supported. And as you're checking into your body, again, notice the area of your body that needs the extra support. And imagine the field directing that love and light, the messages of love, peace, harmony in that area. And we're going to connect to the field. So this is using our soul power. We talked about our mind power of imagining the light 360 degrees. Now our soul power means that we're going to connect with this highest message of our soul and, and activate um, our inner as well as outer soul. So for our inner souls, we're going to say, dear, our soul, heart, mind, and body, all of our systems, our organs, our cells, our RNA, DNA, to the smallest tiny matter and the spaces in between. We love you, honor you, and appreciate you. And this is to give ourselves good messages. We usually don't say these to ourselves or to our bodies. So it might feel awkward at first, but as you continue and get comfortable, notice how your body might respond to that. Like it can relax even further. It's like, oh, wow, I'm getting acknowledged finally. So allow your body to really take in this message that you're loved, protected, supported. We're appreciating it so love you honor you and appreciate you you have the power to heal yourself do a great job thank you thank you thank you so our bodies are magnificent you know uh specimens so to speak it has this natural ability to self-heal right for most of us and um, if we have a cut, usually the body finds a way to repair itself. So for us too, we have a, uh, the body is designed to be able to self-heal. So we're going to tap into this message. So let the body know and empower it that you can do it. You can self-heal. So even by using the soul power, you can do wonders. Okay. This is another self-care method to just give yourself that positive information of love and honor and appreciation. This is not about arrogance. This is just about self-care. And when we self-care, we can do more service for others. So bring in that message. And if it's uncomfortable, we're going to ask others around us to the field. So dear the love peace and harmony field of Shanghai, Ping An, Reshe calligraphies. We love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Please support our request. So the area that of you want to address in terms of maybe managing your stress or your body, please help me to manage my anxiety or reduce my stress or to just feel happier or to manage this pain in my neck or shoulders or my stomach. So choose the uh, one area of the greatest concern. A lot of times, if you just choose one, you can focus it and it's not as scattered and you can feel maybe much more progress, okay? So inhale this love and light. Feel this light coming in from 360 degrees. I am going to play just some music for you to relax to and just imagine this coming in.
So just take some, a moment to check in to see how your body is feeling. We just had a few minutes in this field. And breathe in the light of the field. Imagine the field 360 degrees. Bring it down into your lower abdomen. And imagine this ball of light rotating in your lower abdomen. Imagine, imagine like a field of light in your lower abdomen that's helping to ground, center, and balance you. Feel yourself nourished and nur nourished and nurtured by this field. And I want you to just connect into your body again, checking to see how you're feeling. Some of us may have relief. I know like for me, some of my congestion cleared. But if more is coming out, like you're feeling a bit more pain or discomfort, it's actually a positive sign that things are moving. And a lot of times it could be a bit more painful. So what I would recommend is come back, watch this again and stay in the field a bit more. We do have other um, meditations on our, in our YouTube channel and that you can watch playlist. So you can be in the field more or learn more practices. And I want you to just think about at, as we're closing an area that you would want to work on this next week for your self-care and just see what comes to mind. You know, maybe it's like I just take some time to breathe or relax or let me watch a meditation like this one daily, you know, you can return to this meditation daily if you like, play the last portion. I also have like five minute meditations or three minutes practices that you can do um, on Satori Family Wellness Center YouTube channel. So you feel free to use what you have. Could be, oh, I'm going to go walking or exercise. So see what comes to mind. And for this next week, do you can commit yourself just to do what came up in today's meditation, what you can do more of. And now, whatever your intentions are, you're going to connect with the field again, love, peace, harmony, field, to bless our intentions so we can actually do what we would, what we want to do for our self-care. I'm asking for a specific activity that I want to do. We say thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you everyone for joining me today, uh, watching the video. We will have this every Friday at 12.30 to 1 p.m. Hawaii time. And it is available for replay on our Satori Family Wellness Facebook as well as um, it will be posted on our YouTube channel as well. So thank you everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Aloha. Bye-bye.